So, you've probably noticed this. You're at the counter, ready to pay, and suddenly, the screen asks for a tip. It's not just at restaurants anymore, now it's everywhere, from coffee shops to auto repair shops. So today, we're going to talk about where people are tipping, where they're not, and why it's spreading to more places. Plus, I'll give you some helpful tips to navigate it all. So let's dive right in. Let's start with where people are most likely to tip. Unsurprisingly, food delivery and ride-sharing services are at the top. It makes sense, right? Someone brought your food straight to your door, often through traffic or bad weather. And for ride-sharing apps like Uber or Lyft, it's the same. Someone's directly helping you get where you need to go. Grocery delivery is another one where tipping is common because the workers are doing your shopping for you. But here's where things get tricky. When it comes to fast casual restaurants, like Chipotle or Panera, people seem divided. These places aren't quite fast food, but they're not full-service restaurants either. So, it's no wonder people are split. Some think, if I'm just picking up food, why tip? Others believe it's only fair to tip since someone still had to prepare the meal. It's one of those gray areas where there's no clear answer. Now, let's talk about places where people usually don't tip. Auto repair shops are a great example. Tipping isn't common there, and that makes sense. When you're paying for a car repair, it's already a big expense, so adding a tip on top doesn't seem necessary for most people. However, what's surprising is that some people are starting to tip their mechanics. While it's still rare, it shows how tipping is starting to pop up in places we wouldn't have expected just a few years ago. So why is tipping spreading to more places? Well, part of it goes back to the history of tipping. After the Civil War, tipping became common in jobs where workers, mostly black workers at the time, weren't paid much and tips were how they made a living. Fast forward to today, and millions of workers still rely heavily on tips. But what really changed things recently was the pandemic. Tipping became a way to show extra appreciation for people, like delivery drivers, who were working while most of us stayed home. It was a way to say, thank you for taking that risk. Then came those digital tipping screens. You've probably seen them, those sleek little tablets at the register asking if you want to leave a tip. What used to be a quiet jar off to the side is now a prompt, often with options starting at higher percentages. And that's where some of the frustration comes in. It feels like tipping is becoming less optional and more expected, even in places where we didn't use to tip. So, what can you do if you're feeling overwhelmed by tipping? First, remember, tipping is ultimately your choice. You're not obligated to tip every time that screen pops up. If you feel the service deserves it, go ahead. If not, it's okay to skip it. One thing I like to think about is the level of interaction and effort. Did the person go out of their way to help you? Did they provide a service that was above and beyond? If so, I'll usually tip. If it's just a standard transaction with little personal interaction, I'm more comfortable skipping the tip. And next, consider setting a tipping budget. With inflation and rising costs, it's easy to feel stretched thin. By setting aside a certain amount for tipping each month, you can still show appreciation without breaking the bank. When that screen pops up, you won't feel so pressured because you've already budgeted for it. Also, don't be afraid to give feedback. Some businesses may not even realize that customers feel overwhelmed by constant tipping prompts. If it's becoming too much, it's okay to politely let them know you'd prefer to tip only for certain services. A little feedback can go a long way. Now, I'd love to hear from you. Have you noticed tipping showing up in more places lately? How do you handle it when you feel like you're being asked to tip everywhere? Let me know in the comments because this is definitely something a lot of people are talking about right now. Thanks for watching and see you next time.